So we've hit a huge milestone. The wiring harness for the TDI has finally been labeled. This took me about three days to completely disassemble the Volkswagen harness to a full standalone setup. It's pretty messy right now. I still have to loom everything, but uh, all this wire has been cut out. This is all for the transmission, climate control, and ABS. So what I've done after I cut everything, everything over there that is, just to make sure I didn't um, cut any engine computer wires, because that would suck trying to trace a broken wire when everything's all loomed and tidy. So while everything was still out, I went to the wiring diagram and I picked a sensor. And once I was done tracing each sensor, I would highlight that on the diagram. So I would pick something like, like an O2 sensor, let's say. So each connector is numbered and then each number has a different color wire. So for example, let's say pin four is like a, a blue, blue yellow. I would go to the O2 sensor, find pin four, blue, yellow, trace this, find out where it goes. And then let's say, this splices into fuse 43. So this wire, their O2 would go here, all the way down, super messy. Eventually it'll come out of here as a blue, yellow, this wire. So I would just pull on it a little and figure out where it goes. That's it. Go all the way down. Where does that go? So wherever it goes, let's say, oh, right here, it comes out of this connector. So I cut it there when I was removing all the wires for the transmission and whatnot. So now I labeled it. This, this wire is for what sensor, um, what fuse it takes, you know, all of that. It's, once you learn how to read these, this is a, this is a game changer. They're pretty simple. You just follow lines. <laughs> so for anyone doing a TDI swap, this brown connector will be your power. This will power all your splices, like your factory splices, like this. Your orange plug. I'll only be using one wire. This is for the OBD port, so you can plug in your scan tool and it can read all the codes and engine data. White plug. This is your CAN bus slash data line connector. So I would write something like this wire goes to this pin on which ECU, you know, all that stuff. You got a red and black wire. That's your CAN high and low. And these two will actually just twist directly to the two orange wires on your OBD port. Those wires look like this but instead it's on the OBD port side. So we've gone through these three blue connectors. Oh, these are all underneath the windshield cowl on the driver's side, these connectors. The blue is for your throttle pedal. And then I think there's a black one, yeah. The black one here is just a brake switch. So the three main ones are 
sorry, what am I saying? You got five main connectors that you want to keep. I think there's a gray one you can cut out because that's mainly for the transmission. Yeah, trace wires. Make sure every sensor connector goes back into the ECU block or the main ECU connector. Another tip is to label every single connector as you're pulling it off the engine because this will save a lot of time. If, if I hadn't marked these, I'd be completely lost. So, so the main body harness, and then you got your main relay. You only need to use two relays, the main power supply relay, and then your fuel pump relay. Um, all these, will be here fuel pump relay and main power supply relay you want to make sure you splice in your fuses to the right wire so these fuses actually all splice into the main power relay so they would be connected here That's just something to note. Yeah. That's, that's about it, I mean. Make sure you have a multimeter so you can check continuity and print out your wiring diagrams. It's pretty straightforward, just super time consuming. But I think in the end it'll be worth it. So stay tuned. To verify that everything does work, I have my booster pack here that I'm going to turn on. I have my OBD connector there. You can hear the fuel pump relay kicking off. So I can grab my phone, connect to the OBD port. Boom, connected. I can go to all sensors and it'll tell me my voltage and the easiest one to check is engine coolant temp sensor, which is this sensor here, which is, you know, part of the whole harness. So, I can grab a lighter, heat it up, and then we can watch the coolant temp sensor rise. And then it'll probably drop now that the, oh, it'll probably drop back down to like 50. Yeah, so that's how you verify that everything's working. Um, there's some sensors that are not plugged in right now, so it'll spit out a ridiculous value, like the throttle position, you know. Until that stuff is all connected, um, it won't read properly. But as you can see, the coolant temp sensor does work, so I'm pretty confident that the wiring harness is hooked up correctly and I'm glad all the CAN bus lines are all working because it's communicating with the OBD port so all that's left to do is clean everything up plug it into the engine and hopefully hopefully it fires up <laughs>